The Den Haag tram system is one of the largest European tram networks. This practical example shows a typical re-railing procedure by HTM re-railing system. Firstly, the re-railing equipment is unloaded out of the emergency vehicle. At the same time, the accident site is sealed off and secured. The devices needed are carried to the accident site. The hydraulic lifting jacks, made of high-strength light metal with fixed integrated base that guarantees optimum stability. Red-blue pairs of hoses. The control unit. Now the re-railing bridges are connected to the bridge coupling and aligned underneath the vehicle. The roller carriage is placed on the bridge and the hydraulic telescopic lifting jacks are positioned on top of it. Then the distance bar is set and attached between the roller carriages. Now the counter support has to be fastened on the bridge and the displacing jack inserted. The hoses are now connected. The Hakenscheid MFD re-railing system only uses one type of hose for all connections, the red-blue pair of hoses. Both ends of the hoses are equipped with the same coupling. This guarantees very simple handling since no great care must be taken in which direction the hoses are connected. The protecting caps are screwed together to prevent dirt from getting into the system. To bridge the distance between the lifting jack and the lifting point on the vehicle, the piston adapter and cylinder attachment pieces of a support set are used. Now the actual re-railing procedure begins. Okay. The vehicle is lifted up whilst being subjected to permanent visual checking. Other attachment pieces for cylinders and pistons are used, enabling the vehicle to be raised from the rails bit by bit.
After the raising process has ended, the vehicle is moved laterally. The vehicle can be positioned exactly by means of pulling and pushing movements. If the correct position is reached, the vehicle is lowered onto the rail when the attachment pieces are removed. This concludes a successful re-railing procedure. To demonstrate a re-railing procedure, a locomotive was placed next to the rail body. The locomotive should then be lifted up and re-railed again using the displacement device. Firstly, the re-railing equipment is professionally unloaded out of the emergency vehicle. For the first step in the re-railing process, the extremely heavy load of the locomotive has to be lifted up on both sides. All Hagenscheid MFD system components are made of high-strength light metal alloy to guarantee easy handling. The control unit and the hydraulic drive system are installed. All hydraulic components are connected to one another via uniform pairs of hoses. The leakage-free screw couplings need only be screwed together hand tight. The protecting caps are screwed together to prevent dirt from getting into the system. The sturdy special aluminium construction and the special coating on the pistons increase the service life of the telescopic lifting devices. The control panel is positioned such that the operator can always keep an eye on the re-railing procedure. All devices are operated via this control panel. The locomotive is now raised when the telescopic lifting devices are slowly extended. The speed can be continuously controlled via the lever on the control panel. The re-railing bridge is pushed under the raised locomotive. Roller carriages, which are connected to one another by means of a distance bar, are used for the lateral displacement of the locomotive. Roller carriages with rotatable and movable plates are used to absorb the relative movements that arise as a result of the lateral displacement. The counter support is locked into place in the recesses of the re-railing bridge. The displacing jack engages with the holders on the roller carriage and the counter support. The locomotive is set down precisely on the moving unit from the control panel. The load now lies on the displacement device. The repressure system, a special feature in Hagenscheidt MFD devices, is used to push or pull the load with the displacing jack. The repressure system has been successfully deployed for decades on a worldwide basis. After the locomotive is aligned precisely to the rail by means of lateral displacement, the displacement device is relieved by the holders attached on the side and can be removed. As a result of the repressure system, the locomotive can be set down gently onto the rail again by lowering the lifting jacks. This concludes a reliable and quick re-railing procedure with a minimum of effort and costs.